Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I'm here with Coach T and the rest of our coaching team and we're gonna go over this week's simple and sinister workout for you. So for this workout, we're gonna have five different stations. You'll have one exercise at each station. We're gonna go for 25 seconds of hard work. You'll have 15 seconds to rotate. We're gonna go around the room four times and then we'll have a finisher at the end for you. You ready, T? Ready. Okay, so station number one, we're gonna start over here on the rowers. Make sure you're set up right and then we're gonna think about power, not speed on this rower. Every pull as hard as you can. Deep breath in, on the way in, nice flat back. Push that air out, drive out, squeeze those shoulder blades. At the end, hard pulls on every single pull here. Nice job, T. From there, we're coming over to station number two with Coach Ray, and we're gonna be doing our bear crawls with our bag pull through. So, get set up in that bear crawl position, crawl past that bag, and then you're gonna reach through, grab that bag, pull it through, crawl past it again, three steps, and make sure you're switching that hand that you're pulling with each time. Take your time on those crawls, if you need to, you can do this without the bag and just focus on those bear crawls down and back as many times as you can in that 25 seconds. Nice shot, Coach. From there, we're coming over to station number three. Coach Matt's over here demonstrating the skier for us, just like the rower. Think about power, not speed on this one. Reach high up to those tippy toes, reaching for that top shelf, and then sit that butt back. Use all that body weight for momentum, pushing that air out as you're pulling. One hard pull, every single pull. Nice job there, Coach. And then from there, we're coming over to station number four. We got Coach Cat over here, and she's gonna be demonstrating our split squat. So we're gonna start down on our knee here to make sure we're in the right position. We want our ear over our shoulder, hip and knee. Squeeze that back loop. Now Cat's gonna drive up, pushing forward, or pushing back through her front leg, pushing herself forward through that back leg. Loop squeeze nice and tight. It's a deep breath in on the way down. Push that air out as you drive up. Now, if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can add a kettlebell to this so you get a little bit of resistance here, holding that kettlebell at your chest. Deep breath in, push that air out. When you come back around, you're gonna to go to the other leg. So you do 25 seconds on one leg, next time around, you'll hit the other leg. Now, if you find yourself losing your balance during those split squats, you can use the suspension trainer here. Again, starting at the bottom, drive up, pushing forward, pushing back to that front leg, just using those suspension trainers for a little bit of assistance to help with that balance here. Nice job, Kat. And then from there, we're gonna come over. Lynn, let's come over to this spot, it's a little easier for our videos here. And we're gonna be, Coach Lynn's gonna demonstrate our power curl and press. She's got those two dumbbells. She's gonna use those hips, swing them back, drive up through those hips, bring those dumbbells to your shoulders and pushing those dumbbells up to the ceiling here. Deep breath in on the way back. Push that air out as you're pressing up. Challenge yourself with the weight here because those legs are really gonna assist you on this one. And then if you need to, you can always make it lighter as you come back around, okay? That is our simple and sinister workout for this week. Great job, everybody.